Okay. I actually had to, uh, I didn't have to, but I, I sanded my fingertips before I started these videos today. And uh, watching the other videos, I said to myself, wow, those are some nasty looking fingers. <laughs> so I uh, tried to make them look more presentable. Anyway, let's see. Now there are ways you can hit on these raised areas to try to take some of that off. I think my best bet, since it's so irregular, is to come in from the base and maybe from this side here. There's a lot of steps, step fracturing going on. So if I hit where those step fractures are, it's just going to make the step fractures worse. And that's just basic flint napping. Um, I have no real system to where I want to hit. I just If I see something that looks ugly, I want to make it look better. So that's my main motivation. That right there looks kind of ugly, that bump sticking out. So I'm going to take that off. Try to anyway. And uh, I guess I can start attacking that now. I'll need to set up some uh, pretty strong platforms. I'll be hitting it kind of hard. And I have to make sure I hit below center line. That's basically my thought patterns on that. Now that, uh, that just added to the, whoops, no, I did take off some of it. I thought I was going to add to the steps, but it looked like it took off a pretty good chunk. That's not too bad. I may be able to come, there's a ridge here, I may be able to come in from this direction, down. I prefer that to hitting from the base because the base puts a lot of bending stresses on the stone when you hit the base or the tip. When you hit the side it puts twisting forces on it which do not snap the point as easily. I'm sure there's a lot of physics in there but I don't really think about that part. I just go by experience knowing what has happened when I've done certain things and try not to think about it. <laughs> 